out that way. You can see it more over here. That's actually New York over that way, behind the lighthouse, across the sound. Um, yeah. Again, we're at Old Saybrook fishing for bass. Uh, this is Old Saybrook. Saybrook Point Marina is right there. Saybrook Point Inn. Fenwick is right across the causeway. Causeway, if you got a family, you want to come fishing uh, during the summer for stripers or blues. Uh, go down to the causeway on the Fenwick side park and walk in with your lawn chairs, your cooler, your radio, your family, your dog. You know, take your garbage when you go. Throw a chunk of bunker out there on some 20 pound test and give your kids the thrill of a lifetime when a bluefish locks onto that thing. It's legal, you're down there by the water, it's a great place great place for a family to go sit at night and fish all night long bring a lanterns flashlights my kids used to bring their sleeping bag curl up in the lawn chair uh, you know thought I heard something but uh, So, uh, I got 25 pound test line on here and 12 pound leader. Boy, this was into something. I don't know if you all can see this. That line there really started to come apart. Uh -huh. Broke off the uh, broke off the leader. So, but uh, yeah, this 
I don't think anything big hit it. It didn't pull or nothing. I was just stuck on a rock on the bottom. There's a lot of rock and crap out here in front of this wall. This is the greatest thing in the world if you're a fisherman. Clippers around your neck. I mean, I, I don't know what I'd do without them. Don't like the idea of scissors around your neck if you fall. You came in that? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We got an e bike, and that's usually what we do, but that's nice. Yeah, hey, listen. I, I'll tell you a quick story. About 40 years ago, I was riding with a friend of mine who was Angel. And I got a Yamaha 
that's where you're at with these uh, these bass now. And it's a good thing. You probably heard me. I support the DEP. Always have. One of the times it ticked me off the most was the DEP. I called him up. I don't know why the guy was a prick. I went out in my little John boat one day, and for whatever reason, I left the two life jackets sit on the back seat. He's down in the boat dock. He watches me set my boat in, put everything in the boat, waits for me to get out about 30 feet, calls me back and asks me if I got a life jacket. And, oh, shit, they're in the car. Thanks. He wrote me a $250 ticket. I called up and complained, and the, the guy at the DEP called me, oh, you're probably just a typical poacher, you know, never, I'm like, you, you fuck. I've gotten licenses and paid licenses and gone by the rugs my whole life. I hate poachers. I thought, I, it was stupid, but that pissed me off, you know? That just pissed me off after. I was probably 45 years old, I've been fishing my whole life, and you're gonna call me a poacher. You know, but anyways, he could have had him having a bad day. They've always been good other than that. They've been good about registering. You know, I built boats for 20 years down here in Essex. They're always good about registering those for me, so I don't have too many complaints. I'm just telling you about an incident that pissed me off one day, that's all. And I had another circle hook. It got chewed up on the rocks pretty good. I don't want to put it out there. There's no need to hook a fish and break it off and leave a hook in his mouth, you know. Um, if I don't have any more circle hooks, I could rig one up. I could tie one up, I guess. Not sure if this is the one that was chewed up. Let's see if we're still filming here. Oh, I can hear it. Okay. If you have them bait stealers are out there, they're moving my bait around and playing with it. This is wrapped up too many times. I wrapped this, which means it's probably the one that was chewed up real well. circle hook rig here. I gotta get some clear monofilament so I can tie up my own. I usually tie my own rigs, but the guy down there at the bait shop uh, had some that he had tied up. I'm gonna support him, you know. Teddy's Bait and Tackle. Right up the street here. Look up that way and see that red and white chimney up there. That's Chimney Point. That's where Teddy is. It's a red and white chimney right up there. Just past that green can. So anyway, we'll do this again. Uh, I always get on people, you know, people that do stuff online, skills or whatever. I'm not a great fisherman, but I can tie a knot. You know, tie this stuff up so quick and don't show you what they're doing. Listen, I tied an angler's knot for years all my life, and I just found this unit knot a few weeks ago, and man, what a difference. So quick and easy, none of this poking through like that and everything, just, you know, so you make your loop. Simple enough, right? You make your loop. I'll do it from, from this side. You make your loop right there like that. You bring it around, make another loop in front of it. And you just bring this through five times, or four or five times, four to seven times. One, two, three, four, 
five, pull it down, and you're done. That's your unit knot. And uh, that's a solid knot. It's not going to give up on you. I always carry clippers. Keep my clip line. So it doesn't get out there and get wrapped around something. Um, using circle hooks, like I said. I've got this in case I do gut hook a fish. I can do my best to try to save the poor guy. Don't like gut hooking him. I mean, it's a part of fishing, but it happens. You try not to. <clears throat> I mostly catch and release. If I catch a big bluefish, I'll keep it, because if I don't, Jess will kill me. Jess Pinks likes the bluefish poppers. And I'll keep a, a striped bass this year if I get a keeper. Uh, you watch and see if this guy lets his teeth out. See if we can get him to put his teeth out. There they go. He'll go after that. or sandworms you can see his teeth coming out a little bit trying to get a hold of me but he won't <laughs> they came out again you see him coming out there teeth come out at you I've never been nagged by one, but I bet they could pinch you pretty good. I don't know if there's any kind of venom or bacteria in the bite. I'm using a two ounce flat weight. Um, it doesn't roll around on the bottom as much when you're fishing like this in a moving tide. Uh, you know. If you're drifting the bottom, you want one of them uh, teardrop weights, get it roll with you. Uh, here, I want to just drop 